Today we have the Mongols, Indians, Britons, and Italians versus the Byzantines, Persians, Franks, and Britons. This is a 4v4 Black Forest map. And one of the key things about Black Forest that I remember from, oh, back in the day, is that teamwork is essential, especially when you're on the border. And unfortunately, this is my first game back and I'm right on the border. That's me here. I am the, whoops, uh, Byzantines. The Indians are right next to me. Yeah, they're their border state. Then I have my allies over here. I don't really have range units, but I can build really strong walls. My allies are Frank's here. He has castles, so that's good. The Persians are right here, and the Britons right there, so hopefully their longbowmen will keep them at bay. Uh, the Britons have the Italians right next to them who have their crossbowmen, who can be pretty deadly. Pretty, pretty deadly. And I didn't see this. I didn't realize the Indians had already built Palisades Wall right here. I'm just, you know, trying to get my economy up and going. I should have just built walls down there because this really gives them a huge advantage, especially because he built this wall here next to my gold. Oh man, it's going to be crazy. There was a little debate here between my two allies. The Persians built the wall, uh, but the Franks, they wanted to hunt here because look at all that boar, look at that. And he was like, no, I already built the wall, screw you. But as you'll see, this starts a lot of contention with my allies. These boar. Going on a boar hunt. Though, they kept arguing, though it got quite boring. <laughs> and see, I just set my villager, villager down, and I'm just like, oh, great. So I decided to build a wall in front of his wall. Teach him a lesson. I decided it's better to be safe than sorry. I'm going to try to build outwards. I built my barracks right here next to the gold and the stone, because... This area, I'm going to need to fortify. Fortify heavily, and unfortunately, this is where my stone is. So that's going to be really tough. I do have gold elsewhere, but stone is going to be much more valuable. Yeah, see, I don't have it anywhere else except here. So I really want to take control of this area, make it a zone of control that I control. And of course, as a second defense, I'm going to build my houses around here, just to really try and keep them out. Wow, so uh, the Persians did a really good job of walling up, even though that caused some tension between him and our other ally, the Franks. But the Persians built a wall here, built a wall here. And unfortunately, our ally Grey, the Britons, he didn't build any wall. He let Orange wall up. So that's already a bad sign, because that means Orange is going to be able to control that side of the map. And Orange is going to be the one who's going to be able to control who accesses it or not. I'm not sure why the British left that open, but... We'll see if that pays off. Look, it's like a little dude pointing at the gold. He's like, hey, over here. This is already a bad sign. Uh, we're both trying to build a tower right here on this border. He started, I think, a little bit earlier, and he has three villagers, and I only have two. Uh, I didn't notice them until I started building my tower, and I'm like, oh, nuts, you gotta be kidding me, man. Like, he's just like half a step ahead of me every single time. This is gonna be an uphill battle. It's gonna be a battle of the two towers. I actually, wow, I actually got mine up just a little bit faster. He did the smart thing, he put his villagers in there. Wow, gives him a plus three, so this is doing eight damage to me. I only have a plus five. Uh, I'm gonna try to get a second tower up right here. This is a dicey move. I'm hoping he's not paying attention. Though I think towers, do towers auto aim? I think they do, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And so here I am, just, just, nope. Oh, just trying to get to that tower. And so I'm trying to debate, should I try to build that or should I try to repair this tower? I'm like, I'll just try to repair the tower. Um, my other thought there is to build skirmishers. To try to take this down. Even though skirmishers are really weak, at least it kind of harasses him. And I'm able to shoot over because I'm thinking he's going to try to build archers. And of course, as the Byzantines, my trash units are much cheaper. So I want to start pumping out skirmishers as soon as I can. I want to get another tower up here because he seems to be putting his defenses here. So if I can just put a tower here, I should be okay. At least that's my thought process. And I have idle villagers. Okay, good. I'm sending them to gold, but I should have sent them to stone. Because I'm really going to need stone. And we have our first person to the castle age. It is the Indians. And he made it up with 121 wood, 919 food, 170 gold, and 170 stone. 
And he has a population of 33 villagers, it looks like. Oh, this is not good. Again, not much action at the other gates. It looks like Orange is building thicker walls. The Italians right here, they're really taking control of this side of the map. The British are starting to move forward and so are the Persians. The Persians, it seems like they're really trying to expand. Since he's right in the center, he's trying to expand out. British building skirmishers. I'm hoping he gets the castle soon. Because those long women are going to make a huge difference. Ah, oh, man, look at that. Indians are already sending their mango nails. Luckily, I had a tower right there. I'm hoping to take out his castle. Oh, his tower. Oh, man. That's not good. Man, look at that damage. That's smart. He has a villager right there repairing it. And see, this is when I start building a wall right here. That way I have a second wall surrounding my uh, area right here. It's unfortunate because my gold is there. Like, my biggest pile of gold is there. I have some here. And then, but I do have some here. I decided to go up here just to be safe. Damn, mango nails. Of course, my skirmishers can, can't even reach over there. They completely outrange me. He takes down that tower. Oh, man. Look at how devastating mango nails. Just two mango nails in the castle age. And he's able to take down my second tower. Now I'm worried that he's going to try to come in. So I'm really desperately trying to get my walls up. And I'm almost done, luckily. I do have a couple military buildings out here so I can keep pumping out my garbage units just to try to keep my defenses up. Because I don't want him coming in. I really need to secure this area right here. I am really starting to feel the pressure right now. And I'm still only in Feudal. And he's in Castle. So, it's... <laughs> but I feel like I have to keep pumping out units, which is... Which sucks, because then that means I'm going to be stuck in Feudal for a lot longer than I should be. And it's a tough call, you know? It's like, do you build more units or do you go up to the next stage because if you don't build enough units he'll just storm you and it won't matter that you went up so i don't know the italians uh oh the british and the italians are attacking the our allies the british their castle looks like he has some garrison units in there so he's doing uh, much more damage he's doing 18 damage to this castle he's really trying to get the siege workshop down because he knows that that's the real threat here the british are building their own castle here oh man this is going to be tough. If he's able to get this siege workshop out, there is some hope. There is some hope. Uh, but the Italians are building their own castle here, so that's going to be a combination of longbowmen and crossbowmen. Oof. So there he is. He's trying to get my villagers right there. And he's doing a good job of microing his mango nails. See, he's only has two. He hasn't really built up an army yet. And those two mango nails... Those two mango nails have just, like kept me like in check the entire game it's crazy like if you're really good at using siege uh, especially early on with, with walls like it's really really hard to counter and see that's when i start getting my cavalry out and he didn't expect that like finally but of course my cavalry is like barely upgraded so i'm hoping to take at least one out and see now he knows he has to build the military because i have his counter uh, yes! Got him! Got him! <laughs> this villager stick me out, of course. And we have our first person to the castle, uh, to the Imperial Age. This is the enemy teams, the Italians. They went up to the Imperial Age with 3,629 wood, 1,117 food, 382 gold, and 717 stone. The population of about 93. The Italians already, uh, I'm sorry, the British already cranking out those trebuchets. This is not good. This is, luckily the Persians have a bunch of cavalry here. And most of the units he has down here should be weak against cavalry. He has bomb boards and he has trebuchets. Just siege and archer units essentially. Oh, but I just realized that, yeah, this is not their wall, so he can't really go through. And he hasn't really been upgrading his longbowmen. Oh, man, that's that's hard to watch. He's got to move them. Does he not realize that they're there? Come on, British, what's wrong? 
Why is he not moving them? Oh no. Is he just like giving up or something? Maybe he walked away from his computer or something. He's just getting them all killed. This is insane. Oh man. Maybe it's some kind of weird desync or disconnect or something. That's nuts! Yeah, and our ally's trying to warn him. He's like, hey, they're killing you, dude. Our Mongols have finally pushed up their siege onagers. The Indians still have just mangonels, but they are building heavy camels because. And they're building. halberdiers. Because he knows I've been using a bunch of cavalry. I'm like, great, that's just what I needed. I luckily have some. Some range units. Let's see how they fare. It's it's tough, but yeah, see? Oh, man. Like Mangonels and any type of pike unit, that's a hard combo to beat. It's really tough. But I'm able to get a few uh, units right behind there and attack him. And that's when he brings up his camels. I'm like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm trying to get them away, but they block my exit. I bring out my own pikemen. Hopefully I can take some of them down. Byzantines versus the Indians, oldest rivalry on the books. I did manage to get a castle up here, uh, just for a little bit of defense. I should have built it a little bit closer, but I was worried that his um, mangonels would kill my villagers. Not looking good here. It seems like Gray's just... Yeah, it seems like Gray doesn't care anymore. I think he discovered the doctrine of uh, nihilism. Or nihilism. Just doesn't care. Man, look at that. His paladins can't even get close to it. Finally, the British are building another castle. I don't know what, like, I don't know what he was doing. This is nuts, man. Persians are amassing tons of paladins. I think he's trying to get through. But the Indians see this and they're building their imperial camels. Come to their defense. I'm trying to take out their siege. He keeps pushing siege forward. The Indians are attacking both sides of the map. And I'm just trying to keep him in check, a little bit, at least. If I can just get his seeds on, I was able to get one of them down, but he still has another bomb board right there. I amassed a little, <laughs> a little trash army here. Because if anyone can, the garbage man can. I, of course, don't see his siege onagers here. If I did, I probably would have given up. I was like, ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> he managed to kill some of his, so that's always good. I'm hoping because he has seeds that he hurts himself a lot more. That's also part of my strategy. Because especially once you look at that overpowered siege, it's hard not to kill your own people. But look at that. Once the bomb boards come out, it is tough for me. And his imperial camels, uh. And it looks like finally there's action here in the center. So the Franks were trying to build up defenses here. They did get the paladins out. But it looks like the Mongols are finally stepping it up. They have their siege out here. They have the trash units here. They're going to try to break through right there. Oh, man. On all three fronts. We are the defenders on all three fronts. We're not able to push forward anywhere. Unfortunately, because that gate isn't ours, the paladins can't go through. Because that would have been relatively easy to kill. Except for, like, this huge army of imperial camels. Man. Carnage. We are really trying to hold our defenses, but it's not looking good. Uh, the French are sending paladins in to help me a little bit. And they're building a castle over here. And now we're just going to try to survive as long as we can. I guess he hadn't seen the Imperial Camels. This is going to be a slaughter. So they are Frankish Paladins, so they have a lot more health. Ah, oh, this is good, but these are Imperial Camels. This is regular Camels. Imperial Camels. Oh, he's going right for the seeds. That's perfect. That's that's what we need right now. If we could just get that seed. Oh, if we could have just gotten him right there, that would be nice. This is hard to watch. This is a hard line to, to do. Once I see these camels, I'm like, I'm going to try to go cavalry, cavalry archers and try to lock my walls and just try to, like, you know, pepper his army every time he, get, he comes through. Might be a little too late for that, but that's, what, that's my strategy right now because garbage units, 
I'm actually really low on food, but I have tons of wood and tons of gold, so that's all I can do. But look at that, those bomb board cannons. I underestimate how much damage they can do to me. And they're able to break in right here. Look at those Imperial Camels. The Britons have built their own right here. They've built their own cavalry here. This is a bloodbath. Perfect scene. Man, look at this. Good job on the, the other team. Really working in a variety of units. It's going to be almost impossible to counter. He has Imperial Camels. He has Hand Cannon here. He has Crossbowmen. He has Seeds. Like, how do you counter that? Like, this is insane. Man, look at that. Persians were almost able to hold them back. But he gives up. He gives up right there. Just as the British were sending in their cavalry. Persians give up on our side. This is not good. Mongols have been able to break through in the center. They got their elite skirmishers. They got some of their seeds. So they're not, they don't really have heavy units. So he might be able to take them out with these paladins right here. So that's the problem with garbage units. If the other team has really good units like Paladins, it's tough. And he didn't really build any pikemen. So he needs to take out... Oh, why did he take that out? Take out the Onager. There you go. And he just needs to take these guys out. Though it is tough. Oh, wow. That's really effective, actually. I'm surprised how effective these range units are against uh, Paladins. And these cap rams. Oh, man. Indians have been able to break through. This is starting to get a little bit demoralizing here. Oh man, look at that. He punched the hole through and just push, push, push. And at this point, I'm just like, I don't know what to do. Like, <laughs> Teal gave up. I'm, maybe I can rebuild somewhere. But man, he's got everything on fire right now. That seeds. The Indian, the Imperial Camels, man. They, they did a number on me. Very hard to counter. Up, up, uphill battle. But is it over? Because it's me, the British, and the French. I don't know why Teal gave up. If he would have stayed in it, we could have lasted a lot longer. Because he had to rebuild his troops here. Man, it sucks. That's always disheartening. The British just gave up as well. Now it's two versus four. They're already in our territory. How long do we last? Look at that. Mongols already pushing up even more. He is bringing way more trebuchets than needed. But that's how you do it. Add insult to injury. Let's see this. Let's see this in action. Let's see these trebs in action. Ah, uh, and he's upgraded them. Man. How long will this castle last? <laughs> Longer than me, right? <laughs> Man, look at that. He's trying to send his paladins in, but man. I mean, luckily he has that extra health. Otherwise, he would have just been really dead. Can he take them out? Because this is a ton of... A huge gold investment by the Mongols right here. Is he able to break it? He's able to break some of their trebuchets. Man, but it's not good. Man, those... Uh... Magudai, they are just tough. Tough to beat. And they seem to be almost fully upgraded. Yeah, they're fully upgraded, except for armor. Indians have come all the way in. I'm on the run. I'm like, <laughs> I want to see how long I can survive at this point. I'm going to try to rebuild somewhere. I decided to build up here behind the French. So hopefully my plan now is just to spam garbage units. But the French give up. Who would have thought the French would retreat? Who would have thought? But look at that. I mean, how can you stay in this? This... This was rough. Black Forest is all about teamwork. The other team made it work. Our team fell apart. Starting with that small argument over this wall here, and then it snowballed. That was tough to watch, but good on the other team. The other team did a really good job. So, as you can see, they, uh, <laughs> I mean, I was next to their best player, the Indians. He got, he got the best score out of all of them. He killed the most units. 
uh, the French lost his most units because they were really trying to crank out those paladins, so he was really trying to. Oh man, the Mongols with their siege destroyed the most buildings. Again, the French lost the most buildings, of course, because he was right next to the Mongols. Yeah, this one was rough. Uh, the first to the feudal... Oh, wow, it's actually our ally. The British made it first to feudal. <laughs> I think I missed that one. But first to castle, yep, was the Indians right next to me. First to Imperial. Oh, man, this was a rough one. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, Black Force. It was really fun to play that again. I definitely want to I definitely want to play another map with another set of people. See how that goes. Hope you enjoy hope you enjoyed the new year. I think this video is going to come out a little a little after the new year, but I hope you've enjoyed the new year and uh, see you on the battlefield.